let us today talk about the conductance and the conductivity uh, let us discuss the arrhenius theory of electrolytic dissoci uh, dissociation now whenever the electrolyte is dissolved in water it will dissociate into two respective ions one is the positively charged ions which is known as the cation and other is the negatively charged ion which is known as the anion let us take an example of nacl uh, when this is dissolved in water it will dissociate into na plus and cl minus now this process of splitting of ions is known as dissociation and the degree of dissociation it will be represented by alpha now you can see here the formula of alpha will be a fraction of molecules which are dissociated upon the total number of molecules now let us talk about the strong and weak electrolytes the electrolytes which completely dissociate they are known as strong electrolyte they have degree of dissociation 1 and weak electrolytes they do not dissociate completely and their degree of dissociation is uh, less than 1 so when we talk about the equation at equilibrium uh, a, a b is a salt which is dissociated into a plus b the dissociation constant is given by the concentration of the product upon the reactant now k has a larger value for strong electrolytes and it has smaller value for the weak electrolytes uh, whenever an electric current is passed through an electrolyte the cations will move towards the negative electrode that is cathode and anions will move towards positive electrode that is anode so in cathode reduction process will occur and in anode oxidation process will occur conductivity of uh, electrolytic solution depends on many factors conductivity of electrolytic solution depends on many factor like the nature of ions the number of solute molecule ions and the mobility of the ions the properties of the electrolyte that is uh, equal to the properties of the Uh, ions so hcl that will dissociate into uh, h plus and cl similarly koh will dissociate into k plus and oh negative now let us discuss what are the various factors uh, on which this uh, dissociation or electrical conductance depend which is known as the degree of ionization firstly depends on the nature of the solute if the covalent character predominates the electrolyte is weak so alpha will be less than 1 as in acetic acid sodium acetate hcn if ionic bond predominate alpha will be one that is like uh, hcl nacl and sulfuric acid secondly it depend upon the nature of the solvent uh, the capability of breaking of ions it depends on the dielectric constant greater the value of dielectric constant better will be the solvent that is more capability of breaking of ions the dielectric constant of water is 81 and that of ethanol is 35 now let us talk about the dilution conductance is inverse of the concentration so if the solution is more concentrated then it is difficult to break uh, into ions so dilution uh, dilute solution it will have more dissociation next uh, factor is the temperature as the temperature increases we know that the kinetic energy increases the forces of attraction increases so more degree of dissociation will be there as a result conductance will be more so temperature is directly proportional to the degree of dissociation now let us talk about the corrosion it is uh, destruction of metal uh, due to the chemical process you can see here an electrochemical cell is set up Uh, there will be one anode area and other cathode area due to which redox reaction will occur and that will result in the formation of a rust let us discuss about the factors which are affecting the corrosion firstly there should be presence of an electrolyte uh, it can be a moisture or water secondly amount of oxygen which is dissolved in water uh, third is the temperature since uh, all the reactions they are quicker at higher temperature Uh, then is the purity of the iron greater the purity of the iron slower will be the reaction or the corrosion process it's about the reactions which are going on uh, the iron it will undergo oxidation since uh, it is acting as a node and uh, that will result in the formation of uh, ferrous and ferric ions and the oxygen water it will take the electrons to give you the hydroxyl ions Uh, let us talk about the theory of corrosion now first one is the electrochemical cor cor corrosion theory in which an electrochemical cell is set up one will be the anode half cell other will be the cathode half cell in anode the oxidation reaction will occur as you can see here and in cathode the reduction reaction will occur 
so uh, this uh, ferrous or ferric whatever, whatever is formed that will react with hydroxide to give you ferrous hydroxide and ferric hydroxide which will further give you iron oxide with x molecules of water that is rust now let us talk about the dry theory in the, uh, the dry theory is the corrosion of metal which takes place in absence of uh, aqueous medium so here the metal and oxygen they will react at elevated temperature in perfectly dry conditions and it will give you an oxide layer now you can see here uh, here the oxide layer is formed now further uh, corrosion will occur or not that uh, depends on the nature of the oxide layer it is uh, formed it can be uh, porous layer it can be non porous if it is porous layer further de uh, destruction of metal will continue and if it is non porous then uh, that uh, destruction of metal will take place only on the outer lining of the metal let us uh, discuss about the acid theory according to this theory corrosion of metal that is due to the presence of uh, acid which is surrounding it uh, the iron is corroded by atmospheric uh, co2 moisture and o2 now in this case if you see the reaction formation of carbonic acid takes place and that further react with iron and finally you are getting ferric hydroxide this will further uh, form uh, iron oxide with x molecules of water that is rust uh, let us discuss the methods by which you can prevent corrosion a uh, simple method is uh, you can disconnect a, a supply of moisture or oxygen by painting oiling greasing or uh, there is another method that is the protective uh, corrosion method in which a layer of uh, metal which is more reactive than the metal to be protected is used for example galvanization in which we are using here the uh, layer of zinc over the iron next one is the cathodic protection in which uh, uh, the math metal to be protected it will be made cathode as you can see here so uh, oxidation process will be of the anode bed and thus the metal will be protected electroplating is also one of the method of protection in which you can see in the diagram uh, a spoon is taken and then uh, the electrochemical cell is set up and uh, the silver ions it will be depositing on the spoon thus preventing it from corrosion